<laughs> yeah, <coughs> <Plum. laughs> um, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd leave that five minutes if I were you. <laughs> Um, hello and welcome to the uh, one eighth electric buggy champion here in the marvellous Noilemin. Uh Situated near an industrial estate by a dual carriageway, but very strangely rural. Look, it's rural for about a tiny bit there. Um, yeah, anyway. So we are uh, here at the event and we're going to do a pit walk. You've seen a couple of rounds of qualifying. There's, a, you know, there's even an audience. Look at them lying down there. There's, there's the killer just having a lovely sit down. And we'll, we'll zoom across now and have a quick weather. The great and the good, the famed, the marvellous. Let's see if we can find a... Oh, we this is looking for some spare parts. Yeah, I need some shoe glue. Trying to fix holes. Very loud 19 holes, I believe. Ah, David, how are you? Good to see you? Yeah, good to see you, and I'm pretty good, thanks. Uh, I'm not uh, that happy about that couple of last laps. So I was actually the last lap because I thought I was going to finish the lap before, so I kind of sent it over the line. Realised I wasn't finished, so... Uh, I knew I was very close to uh, Champeric, and uh, that's why I sent it over, but it was one lap too early, I guess, so I, I had to take second instead. Two seconds, not too bad, and of course you are double reigning champion, so uh, a bit more extra pressure, or you just feel very confident going into this one? Yeah, I mean, for sure, we know we, had, uh, we have a really good car, and uh, we've been working hard with uh, some other stuff, like the electronics and, and stuff like that, in the, in the last couple of weeks as well, and uh, yeah, it, the feeling is really good right now, so... Uh, for this one, the car went a lot better. We changed um, the diff setup of the car uh, more like towards Thomas is using because he was really fast after the after the start yesterday. So there's no reason for us to try something else if his stuff is working because it's the same car and same electronics. The only difference is the tires. Uh, but yeah, my, my tires work good. I went with a teaser blue in that one and looked fast and consistent. I felt it was easy to drive. So yeah, keep going from this. It's um, a very interesting circuit to us. They appear to have decided to put every single possible surface there could be. You know, you've got two types of concrete, you've got different types of mud, you've got three types of astroturf, turf, you've got tiles, everything. I mean, is that is that, is that tricky? Is it, is, is it like you have to give up grip on one bit of the track to get grip elsewhere? Yeah, I think for sure there's a compromise that you have to, to take care about when you make the setup of the car. Uh, on the astroturf turf, it's very grippy, and then on other so uh, spots on the track, as you said, the tiles and stuff, it's very loose. So it's not like you can have a perfect car all over the place, you need to have a quick car where there's grip so you can make up the time there and then you have to just stay on the wheels, keep it smooth on the other parts of the track. Um, and not having a car that is too twitchy to when you change between the different surfaces, when you go from Astro to Tiles, it cannot go, I mean, it cannot be so twitchy, it has to be very easy to drive, otherwise you will crash. So that's, I think, the key to finding the setup, an easy car to drive. And is it high tire wear or? It's fairly high, but I'm using a soft tire. Uh, I mean, obviously it's uh, electric, so the mains is gonna only only gonna be 10 minutes, so uh, the soft will be fine for that. Uh, if it was nitro, I would probably be trying a main tire now in qualifying, but it's EP, and uh, yeah, we can go with a softer tire. It's quite noticeable. The last couple of years, there's been you know a couple of the a couple of the big guys that we were saw, a couple of the well-known factory drivers that turned up. Here, everyone's turned up. Well, apart from Bruno, but you know, yeah, if, if, if Ty is not here, it doesn't matter. Uh, apart from Bruno, I mean, um, why do you think suddenly everyone's embraced this event? Uh, I think electric is growing for sure. Um, I think in the next few years we will see it even more. I mean, uh, I think last year we had a really good uh, turnout uh, as well. This year it's around 100 or 90 drivers. It was 100 on the entry list I saw. So, no, electric is for sure growing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's fun to drive. It's very easy, uh, very easy for the hobby driver or the driver that is not racing RC to come into electric. Cause yeah, basically you need a couple of packs of batteries and then uh, the electronics and you're pretty much set for, for a lot, very long time. Uh, whereas with nitro, you need to learn how to tune the, uh, the engine and all that. And um, yeah, it's a lot more work with the nitro. And I feel like this class is very convenient for the, for the newcomer into the sport, which I think is great. David, thank you very much. And by the way, talk about Bruno. Congratulations on being world champion at Electric Touring Car. Because I'm going to get it wrong. Um, we meander along. See, we, now, I think at this point, we may find that a lot of people have gone for lunch. But when we look around the pits a bit, and obviously we're free, so we can get to the lunch area. So that's not a problem. And see if we can find any uh, any people who we want to have a, a, a various chat with. I'm just trying to look around. Who would, who do we, where are we? Oh, there we are. Let's go and have a look. At, uh, let's go and have a quick word with. He's walking the wrong way. Elliot, can you come back to me? It's very important. People, people, people like to hear from you. I can't think why. Um, <laughs> so the second round, not good. How about how's the car overall? Uh, not so good at the minute. Um, we're just trying to find the setup. As you see, it wasn't a very good <laughs> run then. But um, I've got Mick on the case, trying to uh, change some setups, and hopefully the next ones will be better. 
How do you feel about e-buggy in general? Is it something you enjoy or just something you kind of do because you've got a spare weekend? Um, I think it's more to do with the fact, you know, I need to be here, you know, helping development and stuff. But um, I much prefer driving nitro just because of the way the car feels. We only have clutch systems and that, so it's quite a big difference from nitro. But you are doing a, you've done a bit of a 10th electric, haven't you, as well? Is that, is that to make sure you can qualify for the Worlds this time after last year, last time, the shenanigans? Yeah, uh, yeah. Plus that, um, but also obviously we have new cars now, which is a, a major step forward, and we can compete at you know top level with Lee and Neil, so that's good. But yeah, I'm just trying to you know broad out, I guess, uh, different uh, classes and uh, see what we can do. Okay, thank you very much. A little bit down, but I'm sure I'm sure we upbeat later. Things will pick up and it'll be terribly chuffed about the whole world. Um, so this is the back of the obviously the back of the rostrumy thing. Um, the uh, Meander a lot. It's quiet. Well, the sun's out now. It's nice. I've got the cardigan on, so that's that's always pleasant. Um, I would speak to Martin Valanca, but his English is awful. I'll give it a go. Okay, Martin, Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, so so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start to work now. Yeah. The key, I think, the tires are here. Yes. So yeah, your your start this year obviously been a complete new year with with S Works. I mean, mm. so do you, have you had to do a lot of development of the car? Have you had to change it a lot? Uh, only details, yeah. Only details. Yeah. At the end, uh, small details make make the big differences. Yes. Yeah. But uh, when I start to test, yeah, it was already okay, yeah. And then I try to find my setup and change some small things, yeah. And so we we'll see, yeah. <laughs> Martin, thank you very much. And he's proven me completely wrong. His English is excellent. So there we are. As you, as you did intimate to me, young Matt, I shouldn't. Ha I shouldn't. Uh, now. Uh, this is the second part of the pits, you see, it's quite exciting. Some relaxed people, other relaxed people. Obviously a Volvo, there'll be a lot of conversation about Volvos earlier, there's a Volvo here. Um, we carry on going, ah, oh, there's poor old Renault. I was on the wrong side, for, I've got the wrong side here, I can have a quick word with, Re go with Renault, because obviously I need to talk to him about uh, Pizzagate, uh, which is the most important. And there's Jerome here as well, is he? Oh, good. Oh, I want to talk to Jerome, because this is his track. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll pick the pace up slightly. That's important. Now, we come down, there was a kind of a shocking little look. I think the first person I need to talk to is, is obviously a, a kid, there's an absolutely vitally important question I need to ask Renault, and that's um, where did you eat last night? I couldn't eat in the same restaurant as you guys because you took my table, actually. Well, you snooze, you lose, you know, what can I say? <laughs> So did, did, but did you get a pizza or did you have to go to KFC? What uh, happened? We, we had a beer and uh, a burger in some other restaurant. So on to, on to, on to less important things, how's it, how's it going here in, uh, <laughs> in uh, Noy? Is it, actually, how do you pronounce this town? In what is it, how do you pronounce this where we are? Nolimin? Nothing like I've been doing it then. <laughs> how did you say it? Uh, Noilimines. Uh, <laughs> Nolimin. <laughs> okay. Almost. So how's it going? Oh, it's, it's pretty good so far. Uh, I'm sitting fourth right now. Uh, just I need to figure out about the tires because uh, it's changing conditions. Uh, I think for the locals they say it's really warm right now, but I still have my jacket on. So you know, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, just figuring out the the compound and it's gonna be alright. I mean, it, it, it is an interesting point because they have put down every single type of surface here. There's yeah, it's, it's I mean they've even got you've even got wood. I've never seen I've never seen wood on an RC on a one eighth track before. Um so so but, but is it just a case of just getting something that's kind of generally right and hoping for the best? No, I think it's just it, it needs more less maintenance when they're rebuilding the track. So I think it's it's easier for them and uh it's really challenging for everyone. So it's good it's off road. Super. And uh, just so you know, we're not going to the pizza restaurant tonight. Nice. So, you know, you them. can book there. It's fine. No problem at all. Just it. walking around here with Jerome. Jerome, this is your home track. You're the yeah. organizer. What's it like being a, or, yeah, you've done everything in, uh, in RC and now you're the organizer of a European championship. What, what's that like? Yeah, we are happy to welcome you guys here. It's uh, the first, I mean, we, we make uh, like a couple of years ago of plus 40 euros was already a big event because it's a really small club existing since uh, 30 years around, yeah. But so we are happy uh, to see you guys and so many good drivers uh, like David and Dave, all the David, all and the Gao. All the David. So that's good, we are happy. And, and do you have a massive advantage because you can drive here you know, so often? No, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I was surprised to see all the top guys running so fast yesterday night already. Because, like Rono says, the track is really challenging, and it's we are used to drive on. But finally, the top guys are there, and 
they will, I think they will be the best to beat uh, in the main final. So, uh, yes, yeah, so do you think you can make the A? Because it's 12 and it's no bump ups, it's straight in. Yes, actually, I'm sitting 10. I'm close. Mm. I did a good one uh, with uh, 8. The last I did 14 with uh, a crash. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, I will get in. So, I, I'm looking for. Brilliant. Thank you, Jerome. You. Fantastic. And he uh, says it's, it's very much a, a this is very much a club. This is a it, you know it's a, it's not a, an event space like a, a hoodie arena. This is a, a real local club where people, as you can see, you know, bash about on a on a Sunday or a Saturday, and then occasionally have a massively big meeting. Now this is the area for food, where um, hopefully I'll see Ash in the queue because he's supposed to be getting our lunch, which is quite important. Um, I was hoping to see Ongara here, but am I just not looking right? I'm trying to see if David's around, sitting down somewhere. It's quite, it's quite popular, isn't it? It's kind of pop. Where's Carlos? Ah, yes. Well, the company. Where is he? Oh, yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Where is he? Oh, I'm just to forget. Carlos. Right in front of us. Ah, he's wearing a big black Andrew. Right. I'm, I, I should. I should have. I, in which case, it's me. My absolute privilege to annoy Carlos. <laughs> Finish your mouth, because Carlos, you must be pretty pleased because this, this to my knowledge, is the first time the uh, electric Euros has managed to get all the big factory drivers here. No, we have had uh, some good ones. No, some, but you've got, you've got uh, the, the big five are all here. Oh. Uh, but they don't count only big five, but uh, as you know, I'm looking for everyone in all races. Uh, is that uh, I am more pleased that, for instance, on the over 40s in uh, Austria in two weeks with more than 120 drivers? That is amazing, and I don't care if they are the super pros or the normal people or anyone. But okay, I'm happy that the pros are here. Yeah. I mean, do, do you not think though? It's bit, do, you, do you know the feel, do you know the film Field of Dreams? And it's uh, the, the thing, if you build it, they will come. It's now what the fourth time we've run the uh, the e-buggy Euros, and now people are accepting it as a, a really big event. Yeah, it's true. We're, uh, now we are going to an allocated event this year. We are more than 106 entries. So uh, people is accepting it. I am dreaming on a good menu for the next year, and uh, Schutterschiff wants probably the central, the more central in Europe, the better for electro, because the, that way we can attract people from the eastern countries like Hungary, Poland, and so on, and bring more people into EFRA and uh, and you know the friendly racing. Yep, and we got the Huddy Arena next year, I believe. Is that right? Uh, it can be. The problem is they are not here, and they should be here in order to fulfill the requirements. So I have to consider it if I have to postpone them one year because they must be here the year before to check what is demanded out of them. So. Okay, well, well there we are, that's exclusive. Well, excellent politics, like a bit of politics. Oh, good stuff. And Ash has got the food, where is Ash? Is he with the food? Oh, oh, okay, fair enough, we have the food. Well, realistically, we haven't got a lot of time because actually there's other things to do. Uh, I think that's giving you a, 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 a smell, a flavor of what we're doing. So. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to make this a short one. How long is it, by the way? Uh, it's pretty long. Oh, okay. I'm going to make this a long one. Hello. What's your name? Alex. Hi, Alex. Um, that was Alex. And uh, with that, I'd like to say thank you very much. And probably at this point, if you're watching it on the stream, you're going to go back to some cars, going bouncy, 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 bouncy over the track.